Instagram to Edinburgh, Scotland. We took the train from King's Cross Station North. It took about, um, what was it? Four and a half hours. In London? And yeah, it was pretty relaxing just riding the train. I napped a little, listened to my audio book, watched all the beautiful rolling fields and sheep and castle ruins go by. It was so idyllic. And now we're here and yeah, it's raining, cold, um, very cloudy. But what would you expect from Edinburgh? I don't know if I've really ever seen a sunny photo of this town, but um, I think we're probably going to maybe just kind of walk around a little this evening, possibly. Just kind of chill today. The real adventure starts tomorrow. We're here three nights. We're at the Point One Hotel. Or no, <laughs> our last hotel was Point A. This is Motel One in Edinburgh. Um, it is definitely fancier than our last place. It has a really big nice modern reception and bar area the room is bigger so that's nice although we only have a single bed this time so someone's sleeping and, on the floor and i've got to <laughs> say i've got to say we got the train rides along the coast for the last oh i don't know 30 or 40 miles and so we had all these gentle to not so gentle rolling hills sheep everywhere but stunning stunning views down into coves and down to see the breakers coming in on the channel or yeah. maybe that's called the North Sea. We, we haven't figured that out yet. Well, the channel is... Anyway, beautiful. but yeah. Yeah, it was very beautiful. So, <sighs> anyway, welcome to the vlog. <laughs> oh my God, the best burgers and fries go regular potato fries and no we didn't have any rings. potato fries we had sweet potato fries yeah, and onion potato rings fries. the onion rings were the best anyway at this place called brian oh on uh God. on uh the royal mile we're just kind of exploring the royal mile which is like the main big touristy are you done with the burgers already i mean americans <laughs> invented them but these guys perfected them <laughs> they were it was angus beef he was obsessed apparently. It was good. I wouldn't say maybe the best burger I've ever had, but the onion rings were the best. Chili peppers on a burger with cheese. Oh my <laughs> anyway, God. yeah, I'm already in love with Edinburgh though. The architecture, oh my God. <laughs> I wish it was warmer and not raining, but, oh. But it actually adds something to it, like the mist and it just, it's beautiful. So it is our first full day in Edinburgh and we've come down to the grass market at the base of Edinburgh Castle. It's very regal and beautiful. Even though it is very dreary today, again, like I said yesterday, this kind of light is kind of what I associate with Edinburgh and Scotland in general. So I wouldn't really call it bad, but my wide angle lens isn't very good in low light though, but. <laughs> It's fine. We're gonna go up to the Venel viewpoint, which is supposed to be a really good view of the castle and take some photos. Eventually, we're gonna work our way to some museums and other attractions, but man, it is just gorgeous. And it's pretty early in the day, so there's not a ton of crowds yet. Yeah, come along. <laughs> Also, in case you didn't know, Edinburgh is very, very hilly. Lots of stairs, lots of steep roads. So get ready for like a really good workout <laughs> while you're here. But beautiful, can't say that enough.
so we did the National Museum of Scotland and it was really awesome another like national natural museum um, the history of the world and all that we kind of sped run through it because there's so much to see and you really need more than just one day to really take it all in I like the animal exhibit dad liked the old airplanes and stuff um, now we've walked just over, oh, and that museum is free too, I forgot to say that, so that's free. And then another free attraction is where we are now, um, the Greyfriars Kirk, or church, um, and then there's a really nice graveyard. There is Harry Potter significance here because some of the names on the tombs and stuff, um, or, yeah, on the gravestones were used by the author in the book, like McGonagall, and I want to say Riddle too, maybe, but... Yeah, so that's pretty cool. And the author also wrote over there. You might notice I'm not saying her name because I just don't really support her anymore. I have separated the art from the artist. I can never stop loving Harry Potter, but don't really um, agree with some of the things the author has said. So, but anyway, it's a really beautiful old, old church with, um, you know, tombstones dating way back in the day. I don't have the exact dates because I haven't really looked around yet, but yeah, it's really cool. So let's kind of go around. I've mentioned before in other vlogs that I love a good graveyard. There's just something so photogenic about them, especially on like a really overcast day like this. So let's go. also go in the kirk it's free to go in but they do take donations and then there's a shop and a museum in there and they're really into the um the gray yeah the gray friars bobby which is this little terrier that lived here back in the day and it like guarded the church i guess but his master died and he was super loyal and stayed on his grave for like 18 years or something crazy and everyone loved him so there's statues for him everywhere okay i think we are done exploring the graveyard we found mcgonagall moody tom riddell which became tom or Thomas Riddell, which became Tom Riddle. Anyway, and there were a lot of like Harry Potter tours. So if you're really into it, you could do one of those and they take you to each site and give you a bunch of information, kind of overheard some of them. Okay, so now we're just gonna go back to our hotel and kind of rest up a little bit before we go hiking in Holyrood Park or however you say it. <laughs> Um, yeah, and that's where Arthur seat is, so we're gonna hike up there, and there's some other, like, ruins and stuff, I think. Dad's gonna bird watch, of course, so, yeah. <laughs> okay, we took a really long nap. Um, as you maybe can tell from my, like, voice, I kind of have a cold, so I'm not really feeling the best. And Dad has, like, really bad allergies or whatever, so it was nice to just take a nap. Oh, I thought you were gonna say my hair was poking up like a rooster's. Only a little bit. <laughs> anyway, but it's a little after five. We're gonna walk to the park. And also the sun came out. Oh my God, I'm so happy. Um, yeah, here we go. We've meandered our way to Holyrood Park. I'm still not sure if I'm saying it right, but anyway, we're not gonna hike all the way to Arthur's seat just because we don't have the time or the stamina, but we're gonna go a little bit on the trail and see what there is to see. There's all these beautiful yellow flowers, not sure what they are, but very beautiful. All these like cliffs and everything, it's very nice. Okay, we've made it to St. Anthony's Chapel, which are these ruins right here. It's so gorgeous. The clouds have kind of taken over again, but you can still see some of the sky. Um, we're probably not gonna go any higher. Dad has fallen behind 
don't know where he is, but just from right here, the views are stunning. You can see the ocean over there. There's a big pond down there with a ton of waterfowl, like these yellow flowers just everywhere. So rugged and Scotland-like. <laughs> oh my God, it's just beautiful. I believe that's Arthur's seat right there, named after King Arthur, obviously. And that's like the highest point, I believe, in uh, Edinburgh. Alrighty, so we've made it back to the hotel. On the way back, we picked up some food at Sansbury Local, which is my tip to you if you want to save money on um, food <laughs> during your trip. That's also where we got a lot of our food down in London. They have all these like prepackaged sandwiches, salads, wraps, uh, fruit, all that kind of good stuff. And obviously it's way cheaper than eating out. And we also picked up like some stuff for breakfast and some snacks as well, so. Tomorrow is gonna be kind of weird because I messed up in booking the hotels. And uh, actually I messed up on booking a bunch of stuff basically. So what is gonna be happening is we're going to check out of this hotel and check into another hotel in Edinburgh but just for one night and then after that we're renting our car and leaving but yeah I really like this hotel even though it's kind of a maze to get to our room but we'll see what the other one is like <laughs> All right, it is our last full day here in Edinburgh. I'm gonna pretend like my throat isn't hurting and that a nap doesn't sound really good. This cold does suck, but. <laughs> um, this morning we got a late start because we had to switch hotels because basically I'm stupid and booked the wrong days for like a bunch of stuff and had to mess around and try to figure things out. So we're staying one night at this other hotel. And so we checked our luggage in there, but we aren't able to check into the room until three. So right now we're just kind of wandering. We're at Princess Street Gardens. And it's a dreary day, but it's not too cold. Or maybe it's just that I'm like really hot. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, but there's a lot of people out and about exploring the garden park area, even though it's very muddy and wet. But lots of flowers. It is spring, almost Easter now, so. Yeah, so no, come along with us today. Yeah. Don't really know exactly what the day will bring. Some of the stuff I wanted to do is kind of a long walk and I don't really feel like it today, so we'll see. Okay, so we popped in to the National Gallery of Scotland for a little bit. Some of the um, things were closed, the exhibits were closed because they were doing construction, but it was kind of cool. Now we've made it back up to High Street or the Royal Mart, the Royal Mile kind of area. And we're just kind of walking along. We saw some owls that were being paid. You had to pay and you could hold them and you can pet them and stuff. But just a reminder that you should not really take part in animal tourism. It's usually not the best for the animals. Um, but I did take a couple photos of that. And then there was somebody dressed up playing the bagpipes. But I just feel for those owls being forced to have kids pet them and hold them and stuff. But. Anyway, now we're just kind of walking on our way to Victoria Street, which is just a really pretty like shopping street in the area. So yeah. <laughs> all right, here's Victoria Street. Now just imagine it without all the cars and people. Beautiful. Okay, we're down in the grass market again. Last time we were here, it was super cloudy and gross. <laughs> so I'm gonna retake some of the photos that I took last time since the sun is kinda out. And yeah, although there are a lot more people too, so. <laughs> okay, we're back up at the Venel viewpoint again. I thought it was gonna be like more popular there, that there would be a lot of people up here, but there's only a few other photographers. Down just at the bottom of the stairs pretty much, there's a ton of people taking photos of the castle. So if you're looking for a better place 
sorry my battery died but basically i was saying this is a better place for photos if you have a wide angle especially we're trying to do the 50 millimeter now and it's not quite right but yeah it's definitely a beautiful spot there are a lot of stairs to get up here though but okay so i lied a bunch of other photographers came whether it was cell phones or like bigger cameras but this is definitely a game of patience for everyone involved but i hopefully got one that was in focus dad's been taking the photos for me so thanks to him for dealing with all my crap now we're just gonna walk um yeah just wait until three o'clock when we can check into our hotel <laughs> All right, we've made it into our hotel. I think I'm pretty much gonna end this vlog. We're just gonna chill. It's only not even four yet, but I feel like crap and just kind of want to rest up because after today we are renting a car and headed up towards the Highlands, the Isle of Skye, and I just want to be well rested when we go up there. Hopefully I get over this cold yeah so tomorrow we are gonna leave here bright and early to get our car we're gonna hopefully find some puffins dad's been bugging me about going to this beach where there's birds so we're gonna go by there and then we're gonna make a stop in glencoe for the night before we go up to the isle of sky so that's kind of the gist of that make sure you're subscribed so you know when all those videos go online thanks for coming along let me know in the comments if you have any questions about maybe staying in edinburgh saving money while traveling in general or in the city specifically i'll be happy to answer so yeah, thanks for watching. Bye. Also real quick, we definitely didn't see everything in Edinburgh that I wanted to see. So eventually I want to come back here. It's a beautiful town, very historic. It's kind of like stepping back in time if you ignore all the cars and crowds. But yeah, there was definitely a lot that we didn't get to. So okay, now this really is the end. Bye.